The function of the flow control valve is to reduce the rate of flow in its leg of the circuit. Flow reduction will result in speed reduction at the actuator. A flow control valve builds added resistance to the circuit, increasing pressure, resulting in a partial bypassing of fluid over the relief valve, or a destroking pressure of a compensated pump. This reduces flow downstream of the flow control valve. This circuit uses a fixed volume pump. To reduce flow to the actuator, we must bypass a portion of the fluid over the relief valve. As we close the needle valve, pressure increases upstream. As we approach 1500 PSI, the relief valve begins to open, bypassing a portion of fluid to the reservoir. With flow control used in a pressure compensated pump, we do not push fluid over the relief valve. As we approach the compensator setting of 1500 PSI, the pump will begin the destroke, reducing output flow. Flow control valves may be fixed or non-adjustable or adjustable. In addition, they may also be classified as throttling only or pressure compensated. The amount of flow through an orifice will remain constant as long as the pressure differential across the orifice does not change. When the pressure differential changes, the flow changes. Change in load or upstream pressure will change the pressure drop across the valve. Needle valves may be designated as non-compensated flow control or throttling valves. They are good metering devices as long as the pressure differential across the valve remains constant. We will show you how the speed of the cylinder is affected by the different loads when we use a non-compensated flow control. First, we place a 1,000 pound load. Watch the speed indicator to see how the cylinder responds. Now, we will place a 5,000 pound load. Watch the speed indicator to see how the cylinder responds. Now, let's place a 500 pound load. Watch the speed indicator to see how the cylinder responds. A pressure compensated flow control valve is designed to make allowances for pressure changes ahead or after the orifice. The pressure compensated flow control valve symbol adds a pressure arrow to the orifice. Notice that with a pressure compensated flow control valve, the speed of the cylinder does not change with the change in load. In this learning lab, you will see how the throttling valve differs from the pressure compensated flow valve. Choose the different weights and valves to see how the speed of the cylinder changes.